What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon news update video. Today is March 19th, 2018 and I am super late with this video. I keep getting comments and comments about you guys asking, hey, don't you know that you can get the starters with the hidden ability on the Pokemon bank? I'm like, yeah, I know. The reason why I didn't do this video once we got in the news and once the news finally popped about us finally being able to get the starters with the hidden abilities and that's because i was in the middle of a move i the news came out on march 9th and i think i'm i started to move on march 8th i did get my starters with the hidden abilities and stuff like that but you guys keep asking for it so here is the video let's go over it on how to get the starters with the hidden abilities in your pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon game so again this news is coming from the official Pokemon website. I'm gonna have a link to this article in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. It says a new bonus for Pokemon Bank subscribers. Everyone who has registered for Pokemon Bank can get a special Decidueye, Incineroar, and Primarita. I think I'm gonna say that hella wrong throughout this video. Roast me in the comments. It says Pokemon Bank is a paid service for your Nintendo 3DS family of systems that allow you to store and transfer your Pokemon online. And for a limited time, if you sign up or already registered for the Pokemon Bank, you can receive three cool Pokemon originally discovered in the Holoan region for your copy of Pokemon Ultra Sun, Pokemon Ultra Moon, or the vanilla versions Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon game the three pokemon that will each arrive with a hidden ability that is not available through normal gameplay this is the first chance to get these pokemon with their hidden abilities making this a special opportunity now all you need to do to get these pokemon again is to have Pokemon Bank installed and have a valid subscription for it. Now, Pokemon Bank, I believe it's $5 a year. I have a subscription for it, so it kind of doesn't, to, to me, it's just a perk to just get these hidden abilities. Now, you may be saying to yourself, hey, I don't have Pokemon Bank. I don't use Pokemon Bank. How can I personally get one of these hidden ability Pokemon? Now, my answer to that will be through GTS, through Wonder Trade. Now, I think there's gonna be tons of people GTSing and wonder trading these hidden ability Pokemon, especially with people who's gonna be trying to get their shiny hidden ability Pokemon because you can breed these Pokemon out. You can look, try to get the best IVs for your Pokemon. Now, I have received them and I've seen that they don't come with the best IVs. They don't come with granite IVs. They come level 50 with some regular basic moves. Now, what do make the news notably questionable and kind of cool, but kind of, again, useless, quote unquote, is that because they come with moves they would learn later after level 50 they come already bearing those moves but what is noticeably weird is that they do come at level 50 so they're not ready for hyper training they are ready to be used online for battles but i would say take them to level 100 hyper train them and you know if you are doing that then you might as well grind for a shiny you know greet these bad boys get a, a shiny with the hidden ability and then grind Grind to level 100, get the IVs you want, and then have yourself a ready to battle hidden ability Gen 7 starter shiny Pokemon. I think that'd be incredible. Now, to jump into the hidden abilities, Decision Wise hidden ability is long reach, an ability that no other attainable Pokemon has had before. So it's pretty cool. It allows the Pokemon to use its moves without making contact with its opponent. So Decision Wise won't take damage from abilities like rough skin or held items like rocky helm which is pretty fucking cool if you ask me i don't see anyone still using decision why with this ability but if you can find a use for this decision why and if you have a valid move set and you know kind of team to run with this decision why let's talk about it in the comment section below as you guys know i am not the vgc guy but i i do enjoy playing vgc with pokemon i do enjoy using decision why is my starter pokemon of choice for this for gen 7 but i don't think he's the strongest <laughs> to, to say the least as, as far as when it comes to vgc now moving on to 
to Incineroar's hidden ability, Intimidate, and it lowers its opponent's attack when Incineroar enters battle. With Intimidate, you can cut down on the attacking power of opponents that rely on physical attacks. Now, everybody has been jumping on Incineroar with this Intimidate ability. It's pretty good, I've been hearing. Again, I'm not the VGC guy, so I wouldn't fucking know. But out of the three, this is gonna be the one that I take into the, the online competition. I want to use Incineroar. I do want to, I like Incineroar as a Pokemon as its designs, its moveset that is able to learn. I do think it's pretty cool. I do want to see if I'm able to hopefully strike up a win with an instant roar on my team with this hitting ability. Let me know your move set for this instant roar with this hitting ability to make the most out of this hitting ability, even though this hitting ability is just to affect the opponent's Pokemon, not so much buff instant roar. But let me know your thoughts on it either way. Now, Primarita gets liquid voice as an hitting ability, which again is a hidden ability that has never been available for a Pokemon until now, which is pretty cool. So with Liquid Voice, all of Pyramidas, I'm sorry I'm saying that incredibly wrong, sound-based moves become water-type moves because these moves become the same type as Primarita, the, their power is now increased. So again, I don't see this being the metagame of people using this Pokemon, but if you do have a move set that can benefit from this hitting ability, let us know in the comment section below. I'll be sure to highlight and leave a heart and get my thoughts on it as well. Now to receive these Pokemon, become an active Pokemon Bank subscriber by October 31st, 2018. So you have a ways away until the end of October, you can pick these up and the cost for Pokemon Bank is $4.99 again in the US for one year subscription. So you can sign up and download the Pokemon Bank via the Nintendo eShop and it says learn more about Pokemon Bank. I'm gonna leave that in the description below just in case you want to. And to receive Decisiwide and Cinderella and Primarina, it's pretty easy. You just start Pokemon Bank, select the game in which you wanna receive the gift in. So if you do select Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you cannot double dip and then jump into your safe out from the original Sun and Moon games and then receive them again. You'll, it's a one-time gift once you get them in Sun and Moon or the Ultra Sun and Moon games. That's it. You, you got your gift. It's done. After you receive your gift from Pokemon Bank, like all gifts, just start up your game previously selected. You will receive your Pokemon as a mystery gift from the delivery person in any Pokemon Center. It says remember to save your game, but I would say remember to save your game before you pick up your Pokemon if you want to hunt for a great nature for any of these Pokemon. But then again, you don't really need to because again, if you're going to be hunting for natures, you're probably going to be the type that's going to be hunting for a shiny. And if that is the case, you might as well do that while you are breeding these Pokemon out because you can breed this special ability out, which is pretty cool. But you can also breed for a shiny special ability Gen 7 starter, which to me is awesome. Awesome. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Again, let me know all the movesets you're gonna attach to these Pokemon and are you going to hunt for a shiny? Now, if you are one of those people who do not have Pokemon Bank and you do not want to check the GTS or, you know, want to trade, you don't want to deal with none of that, leave your friend code in the description below with the Pokemon that you want, with the correct nature that you want. For these guys, now I will breed a couple. If someone does request it, I will breed out for it and send you one my friend code is already in the description of every one of my videos if you do want one of these and you do not have access to pokemon bank just reach out i'm able to send you a rowlet a litten or a what is it i forget the water starter name but i will send you one of those with the hidden ability with the nature of your choice now it's not going to be shiny because if I get that shiny, I'm probably gonna keep it. But again, um, I will send out um, those Pokemon to you if you do not have access to Pokemon Bank and you want a, you know, a Pokemon with this hidden ability. And again, you don't wanna go through your um, GTS or Wonder Trade or whatever the case may be. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. Like always, you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm being doing a ton of these Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news update videos, even if they're very, very late.